good morning class 11 d science students so we are done with section a of your syllabus that was ecology and pollution right so today we'll be starting with section b which is the first part is legal regimes for sustainable development so here in this chapter we will be discussing a lot of law and legislation that have been made for protection of the environment but before that let us get familiar with the term sustainable development why laws are made why legislations are made in the country is to bring about sustainable development now earlier you have all heard of the term development so development and sustainable development are two different aspects right so earlier when all the countries were running for development what is the difference between these two words development and sustainable development which we are trying to achieve today development is a process of growing economically you grow financially your country gains a lot of wealth but we do not cater to the needs of the environment when we only think of monetary benefits financial gains how your country can grow economically without actually looking into what is happening to the environment how the environment is getting degraded and destroyed in the process of developing that is called development okay so development was long time back when economically all the countries were trying to uh, reach that level of being called a developed country so that was development but slowly and gradually all the countries came to realize that when the environment was getting destroyed let's take an example to get developed we have to uh, construct industries we have to build a lot of industries and factories where there is lot of export and import involved right so when we construct industries and factories definitely there is pollution of air there is pollution of water there is deforestation there is degradation of land and many other negative impacts so earlier we were not bothered about what is happening what negative effects were coming on the environment but later slowly and gradually we started facing a circumstance that is called environmental crisis there was global warming acid rain pollution and brown gases everywhere so the world started suffering from such health issues which had no cure there was no remedy for that particular purpose now so then we started thinking of development but in a sustainable manner so what is sustainable development and how is it different from the normal development that to be earlier practiced sustainable development teaches us that you develop you construct your industries factories and whatever is required for your country to develop but at the same time we cater to the needs of the environment we try not to destroy the environment we try not to pollute the air and the water and not to create deforestation loss of biodiversity etc so such a development where environment is being prioritized that is called sustainable development so these this is the basic difference between development and sustainable development so today all the countries are trying to achieve and move towards sustainable development so we cannot only think of development and not cater to the environment we are all dependent on the common environment your health our resources everything comes from the environment so we cannot just forget about the environment and just think of development and money ultimately all the countries gained money but at the cost of the environment so today is the time where we are trying to achieve sustainable development so we have sustainable industries what is the meaning of sustainable industries industries are functioning making the products but we have such technologies in 
inside the industry that track all the harmful emissions that were actually going to the air. Now we have such technology inside the industry, all the harmful toxic gases which were earlier released and they were going to the air and polluting the air and hence affecting human health. Now these technologies, they track the uh, poisons inside the industry and prevent them from reaching the air. So this is sustainable industrialization. Similarly, we have sustainable agriculture. Now what is sustainable agriculture? An agricultural method where we try to save the soil. We do not use fertilizers and pesticides which not only damage the soil but also damage human health and other plants and animals. So sustainable agriculture, an agricultural method where we are trying to save soil that is by not using fertilizers and pesticides. So everywhere we are trying to be sustainable, in every aspect we are trying to be sustainable. So your chapter is discussing legal regimes for sustainable development, right? Under this class you will have to study Article 48A that the government has made under our constitution and Article 51A. I will be sending you the notes. Let's try to understand what is Article 48A uh, which was enacted in the year 1949, what the government did was uh, in Article 48A in the Constitution of India, they are trying to protect and improve the environment and safeguard forest and wildlife. In totality, we are trying to protect the environment, save the forest, hence if you save the forest, the wildlife is automatically protected. And the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the so every state in your country they, it is their responsibility whatever forest is there whatever wildlife is there within the state it is the responsibility of the state to protect the wildlife and the forest that is constitution 48a and then in uh, article 51a what the government has made mandatory is every citizen Every person who belongs to India, it is his or her responsibility to protect the forest, the lake, the river, the animals, the plants, each and every organism, resource. It is not the government's duty, but it is the duty of each and every citizen of the country. That is Article 51A. And apart from that, the constitution also reminds us to show compassion. You have to show compassion towards birds and animals, right? Uh, so uh, it says that a country which can uh, show compassion, a country which can protect uh, plants and animals and the fauna, the biodiversity, only that country can have wholesome, sustainable development. So this is not a distance distant dream, thinking of sustainable development, but when each and every citizen becomes aware, when they start showing compassion, protection, conservation, if this comes from each and every one of us, we will definitely be able to achieve sustainable development and we will become a sustainable country, right? So, uh, after this, the next uh, law that you have to learn in your syllabus is the Environment Protection Act of 1986. You all must have heard about this particular act. So the Environment Protection Act, which was enacted in the year 1986, this particular law was placed in India after a tragedy. The Gopal gas tragedy which occurred in 1984, which is still fresh in the minds of people today, the worst uh, radioactive uh, emission that has ever taken place in India in Gopal, the Gopal gas tragedy which occurred in the year 1984 where many many people lost their lives. Okay? It was a multinational uh, company, it was a pesticide industry manufacturing very harmful pesticides and the methyl isocyanate gas that leaked out because of a lot 
moment of carelessness on the part of the industry and many many people lost their lives it occurred at night doctors did not know what to do because something of this kind had never happened before a gas methyl isocyanate very very poisonous gas which leaked out at night uh, on 2nd december in the year 1984 the people had nausea and vomiting and headache and they collapsed and when they were taken to the doctors the doctors were clueless because doctors had never earlier treated patients who were affected with methyl isocyanate so even the doctors were helpless and many many people lost their lives immediately because of the mistake of the multinational corporation right so uh, in 1984 that particular incident occurred in india it took 25 years for the supreme court to give its verdict and to help the people who are affected in 25 years most of the people had died and those who were surviving were surviving with some kind of deformity so this uh, big incident that took place in india because of carelessness of the mnc india was bound to pass a law to protect the environment and that came in the form of environment protection act in the year 1986 so this was in the wake of you have to remember that this particular law was in the wake of gopal gas tragedy of 1984 and what does this uh, particular act say it authorizes the central government of your country to protect and improve the quality of the environment try to control and reduce pollution from all sources whether it is air pollution soil pollution water pollution each and every pollution we are trying to control by enacting this particular law that is the environment protection act so there are a lot of restrictions on the part of the industries which are functioning and they have to follow the objectives and the rules and regulations that have been laid down by the environment protection act of 1986 so after this particular act uh, to some extent we were able to uh, prevent pollution of air water and soil so today i have discussed with you uh, what is the difference between development and sustainable development i told you about article 48a and article 51a by the constitution of india and i have discussed one law that is the environment protection act of 1986 after this i will be discussing the other legal regimes that have been set up by your country for achieving sustainable development thank you class